Instead of living a life where you feel this need to escape into nature, trying to live a life where it's not about escaping, it's just about connecting more. It's about being part of it. My name's Mick Murray. I'm an artist, trail runner, and an organic grower. For me as an artist, I take a lot of my inspiration just from my local area. I'm not particularly trying to recreate it perfectly. I want to make an image that's inspired by that, but it's also interesting in its own right. First step is just making sketches, making drawings outside, and it's from those initial sketches that I'll make more drawings in the studio. So, you know, when I go to the woods, I don't feel like I'm running away. I just feel like I'm further connecting. I mean, I'm really fortunate. My day-to-day -day is either in the studio here or, or I'm up on the land, working on a market garden, growing biodynamic food. So you're connected all the time. When I moved to Sheffield, I got into growing. I just felt like it was healing. You realise that you're just a part of this whole community and that you've spent all your life totally disconnected from it. So I think growing food's a real eye-opener and it gives you a real good understanding about the environment that you live in. The more I become conscious about my impact on the environment, the more I'm starting to think about the materials that I use. So as well as working on paper, I've also been working on potato sacks. It's part of that, that value of using what you've got and, and being quite choosy about the materials that you use as well. You know, you're always looking now for things that are going to last for a while. So buying something that's really hardy is, is really important. You can bash it around, take it everywhere. I mean, I work outside, so it's got to last. It's got to be hard wearing. There's nothing finer, really, than cooking a meal and 100% of those ingredients are ones that you've grown. I got this thing in my head about food equals mood, so I wanted to, to eat really good food. And then I decided I was going to run. I was going to start running to improve my mental and physical well-being. So I went down to the running shop, I got some trail shoes, and I went for a run. And uh, I was just whizzing around the trails, just absolutely loving it. And, uh, and I just got obsessed. Got obsessed. Running uh, six, seven, eight times a week, sometimes running twice a day. I met loads of amazing people, you know, got into the whole adventure of it, running outdoors, on the hills, head torches at night, all weathers. You know, and I just got addicted to that bit. Big hills, big adventures. So nice to be out running in this, uh, piece. The life I lead, you know, I work on the land and in my studio. I've got no need to escape from that. You know, it's, it's good. I've set it up in a way that I enjoy the day-to-day -day life. Coming out here is just an extension of the adventure.